Hey guys, welcome back to Gyros Technology Solutions. So I did a video on Wazoo, the all-in-one deployment the other day, and so I'm going to follow that up with doing a distributed deployment of Wazoo. So uh, forgive my uh, my voice or any coughing you may hear. I'm fighting allergies right now, so just uh, muscle through that if you don't mind. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to jump straight into it because I just tried to shoot a video a moment ago where I was trying to cover everything at one time, and it just it didn't happen. So now I'm going to do this in a in a series fashion where I'm going to do the first part and then the second part and then the third part and it, there might be a fourth and fifth in there depending on how far I get. But anyway, I'm going to start off with uh, with kind of explaining what the, the scenario is. So usually you, you can do a, a single node Wazoo, you know, Wazoo instance or whatever. Um, and that's ideal if you have a small network, you know, you, depending on your hardware, hardware resources, you can do 500 gig internal drive storage or whatever. Um, but here, here's the thing, if that node goes down, and you lose, then you lose your wazoo, and then you have no host intrusion detection. So, with that being said, if you do a distributed deployment, you have redundancy. Uh, and then, a uh, last search has it set up where you can do three master nodes. So, if any one, if one of those nodes goes down, the other two can pick up the slack. And then you also have for scalability. So, if you have a network that starts off small and then slowly grows, if you go from 10 or 15 in in devices to 30, 40, 50, whatever, then it'd be nice to be able to scale that out. So, so those are kind of the reasons why you would want to basically do a distributed type scenario. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into it. Uh, right here you see where I have my first node, um, and it's it's running Ubuntu 20.04. And so I'm going to head on over to the Wazoo documentation, and I will include the links in for this. Uh, and by the way, all credit for this uh, goes to Wazoo for all their all their uh, stuff, their platform, their software. I'm just a guy that's here giving education. So if somebody gets stuck on something, then they can look at this video and and be pointing in the right right direction more or less. And I'm also going to provide the link in the description for the documentation. So if there's anything you get stuck on, then you can just refer to that and then continue on. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and all the documentation is on my screen that you can't see. So um, if you want to pull the documentation on your second screen, if you have one, or just do a side-by-side -side window, then that, that works too. But I'm going to go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing you're going to do on your initial node is you're going to go ahead and do uh, add the Wazoo repository. I'm going to just copy these links over. I always do attack Y on the end just so I don't have to answer it. Uh-oh. Got to be root. Sorry, you have to be root whenever you're doing this. Try that again. All right, then you go ahead and add the GPG key. And then you're going to echo in the actual list. And then you're going to go ahead and do an app to get update. All right, then we're going to do install the uh, open distro Elasticsearch. And this may take just a moment to install, so bear with it. And once that installs, well, I'll give it a second. All right, so once that installs, go ahead and, and download the YAML file. And then you're going to nano over to that. All right, so here's your file. So here's what I'm going to recommend. It can be extremely tedious to t retype everything constantly. So what I'm going to do is show you a, a, what I do when I'm doing a distributed deployment. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. And see, I've already done the nano there. So here, here's the key thing. Go ahead and do your nano to that file and hit, hit, hit enter. That way it keeps it in your history. And I'm going to do an RM Etsy Elasticsearch, Elasticsearch and just delete that file. Okay. I'm going to go two arrows up and I'm going to re-nano it. And this gives me a blank brand new YAML file. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to open up my notepad. And I'm going to go over to this guy. This is a already pre-done out file. So basically what I'm going to do is come over here and I'm going to change. So I'm going to change this to one. To I, I was messing with this earlier and I didn't fix all of it. <clears throat> so I'm going to change this to one. Change this to one, one, and then change this to one, two. 
and then all the IPs are fine. So the my first node is going to be 10.1.1.42. The host, uh, the node name is his 411. Uh, the cluster is his cluster, and then the rest is just follow suit. Okay, and then right here also follow suit down here. So I need to change these numbers. I'm glad I looked at that. The 11 and 12. All right, so this will follow suit for all your nodes. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and copy all this. And paste it in there. All right, so there's that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and write it and then exit it. Okay. So that, that covers that for actually the actual YAML configuration file. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the Elasticsearch roles and users. And I'm just going to copy that straight from the documentation into my uh, terminal here. And then I'm going to remove the demo certificate. So go ahead and click that out. And then uh, next I'm going to download the Wazoo cert tool. And again, just right clicking it in there just makes it super easy just to do it this way. All right, next we're going to do is the we're going to nano the uh, instances YAML file, which is going to help us create our certificates. All right, so once again, you see this right here. I already have a pre done up one, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. I'm going to do remove instances.yaml, and then I'm going to go back in there and do nano again. It's going to give me a blank page. I'm going to go to my other one that I created. I think that I did not create that correctly. So guess what I got to do? I got to go back, exit out of this, hit remove again. No such file. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and recurl that file. So I'm going to redo this file because I accidentally... Did not do it correctly the first time. All right, so we're going to go back in here. Do nano. All right, guys, so here's the fun part. This is what's tedious and that I thought I had a template for and I do not. So you're going to come in here, do lab, and then you're going to do hids. And in my case, it's going to be 411, node IP, and this is going to be that 101142. And then you're going to come down here and then space over name i would highly recommend you having a template for this depending on how often you uh deploy these guys all right and then make sure all your spaces and everything else is good to go because you don't want yaml to fuss at you so 10.1.1.43 uh -oh, 43 there we go all right and here, here's the other piece to it so this will come up whenever you start installing your wazoo stuff so this is going to be master node And then again, this is going to be the same IP because it's going to be on the same server. Name. And then in this case, I'm, I'm not going to do three nodes for the sake of time. I'm just going to do two nodes. And then you can kind of see how it flows together. So right here, I'm just going to do node one and then space, 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 IP, space, 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 and then IP again. But I'm going to do this 43. All right, and then last but not least, we're going to go ahead and do make our Kibana. We're going to call this Kibana server. And all these names do get changed, and you'll see what I'm talking about either in this video or uh, another video that's in the series. Bam. All right, so let's double check. So we have lab hits 411. We have lab hits 412. Corresponding IPs, master node, corresponding IP, worker node 1, corresponding IP, and Kibana server, corresponding IP. All right, that's a mouthful. <clears throat> all right, so next we're going to do, we're going to write this file. Exit out of there, and then we're going to download the, the Wazoo cert tool. And what the Wazoo cert tool is going to do is it's going to basically use that instances.yaml file to create all your search for each node. All right, bam, too easy. All right, next thing we're going to do, so what it does is it goes through here, and it and you're using basically using an alias. So I'm going to do lab hids 412, or 411, excuse me. And then I'm going to go through here line by line. And the reason why I do it line by line is because I've, I've done it in the past where I did, I just copied the whole thing and then went down. And for one reason, for, you know, one reason or another, it decided not to do what it should have done. So I just do it line by line at this point. So there's no issues. And so what we're doing right now is we're moving the search for the, uh, for the first last uh, initial last search node. We're moving those to, um, to the last search slash search directory all right and then so right here uh, i was showing this before in the video that didn't get posted so if you oh let's, let's do cd nope not one 
search. There we go. So ls. So you can see right here that the name of the file is my node name for the pim and the and the uh, that key dot pim. What we're about to do is we're about to just move those, or in other words, in Linux terms, rename it to the correct name for uh, less search to use it. All right, so now I'm going to do an ls. So you'll see that this guy and this guy got renamed to Elasticsearch type p.pim and Elasticsearch.pim. All right, so what we're going to do from here is we're going to cd back to our certs, and then we're going to tar them. And this is important later on as well for moving certs to your next node. All right, so we just basically just tarred all those into one file, or into a tar file, and we're going to move those to your root home directory. So now do ls root. And there's your search.tar file right there. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start this Elasticsearch node. So let that do its thing. If I'm going really fast, sorry about that. It's my time constraint i was recording a video earlier and it was 44 minutes and it just stopped and i was like and this was after another 15 minutes of me talking about moving certs around so i was like crap so it was always fun always fun to do it stuff it's one thing i love about last search it takes a moment to actually start if it starts, because there sometimes there's a config issue. All right, so it starts. So you're going to do systemctl status and then Elasticsearch, and then uh, you don't have to you don't have to look at the status, but I highly recommend it because if you go do something after you don't check it, then it's it's not running. You're like, what the hell? All right, and then you want to go ahead and remove the Open Distro Performance Analyzer. Uh, according to Wazoo, it can cause performance issues. All right, there we go. <clears throat> So guys, at this point, we are on our initial node. We just installed last search. We generated the search for all the nodes. And then now we're going to go ahead and move over to the subsequent node for uh, and install last search as well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and navigate to my other hids. And then check into that. All right, and then go ahead and do sudo su. You have to be root to run all these commands just, so, just in case you didn't figure that out already. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Install all the prerequisites for the Wazoo repository. Add the key, add the wazoo.list, and then go ahead and do, a, go ahead and do an app get update. All right, go ahead and create your well, I say create. Go ahead and install your open distro for Elasticsearch. And while this is doing this, uh, this is very important. So I'm going to go back to my first node just so everybody's on the same page. And I'm going to go ahead and do a, uh, a secure copy of my certs to that node because that, that's very important. You need to move your certs to the right node. So I'm going to go ahead and do Dylan at 10.1.1.43. And I'm going to move it to my home directory for my user since I'll have uh, permissions there. All right, so go ahead and do that. Type in yes to set the fingerprint, and then go ahead and type in your password for your next node, and then it will copy. Permission denied. Okay, what did I mess up? Let's try that again. I might mistype the password. Uh-oh, okay. It must not like something that I did. I might have to pull it if it doesn't want to let me. Yeah, I think I just mistyped the password. So let's try that again. Make sure that's good. That's good. Okay. So. Okay, there it goes. I mistyped my password twice. How about that? So I just copied my, I secure copied my uh, search.tar file over to the next node. And then we're going to hop over there. And we just installed it. So we're going to go ahead and download the template like we did before on the first node and then we're going to nano over to that and remember what I was saying guys so right here I'm going to nano to it just so I have that command there 
and all this is there but what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go to do remove it and I'm gonna go back to nano and then right here in my templates file I'm just going to change some things. So that's going to be a dot three. It's going to be dot two, and I, I believe that's all you need to change. Yep, four three four one two. Everything else is good to go. So let's go ahead and copy, paste. Looks good. No issues. And then go ahead and write that file. All right. And then go ahead and remove the demo certificates. All right, now we're going to alias that next name. So keep in mind that we just moved the certificates from the first node to the second node, on, from the first server to the second server, since we're going by servers. I know I want to make sure there's a distinction between the nodes and the servers themselves. The nodes is just the instance that's running. The server itself is, you know, uh, lab pits 411 and 412, which is the dot 42 and the dot 43. All right, so let's go ahead and alias that name. So lab tag kids. Tag 412. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and make the directory in the on node 2 or server 2. All right, and again, this is what I was doing before. It says to move your uh, to move your search. Well, I'm going to do something to copy them, so I'm going to copy my search.tar into the last search search, and I'm going to move over to that directory. And then ls. All right, so you see your search.tar is right there. So now I'm going to go ahead and Untar them. It's going to pull out the the yeah, just the search that we need for the for the last search node itself. And then right here, you see where it says it says lab heads four one two. There's the key, and then there's the dot pim. So we're just going to again move those. All right, and then do another ls, and then see they got renamed basically. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start that Elasticsearch node. And all I did was copy from the Wazoo documentation. I copied the uh, where it says system CTL daemon reload, then enable Elasticsearch and start uh, start Elasticsearch. That's the only thing that I put in there. So don't try not to get confused. And it also recommends doing the same thing with the uh, performance analyzer as well. So once the last search starts, I'll go ahead and check the status again, and then I'll throw that removing the performance analyzer. All right, let's go ahead and do a system. Uh oh, not in there. System CTL status elastic search. All right, started. Good, awesome. And then go ahead and remove the performance analyzer. All right, guys. So at this point, we've installed elastic search. We've generated the search, and then we uh, we've installed elastic search on server one. We, then we generated the search and then we installed it on two. So let's go ahead and, well, <laughs> I got the backwards. I generated the search first, then installed last search on server one, server two. But anyway, so next we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and initialize the cluster. So we're going to hop back over to server one. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste this in here. And what it says to do is to put your uh, the IP of your initial node in there. So right here on where it says last search IP, I'm going to put the 10.1.1.42. And then that's going to initialize everything and it's going to start connecting things. It's going to be good. Hopefully. And what you're looking for is that done with success at the end. Bam, done with success. Okay. All right. And the next thing we're going to do just to verify that it worked right is I'm going to go ahead and copy this over here. And then I'm going to replace the last search IP with either IP. So I'm going to do 10.1.1.42. And then you want the output that looks like that. And I'm going to skip over to uh -oh, pass it. Dot three, and bam, got the output like that. Perfect. All right, all right, guys. So this right here is installing Elasticsearch on the on either node on either server one, server two, or however you have your servers or nodes set up. But this is basically you've got uh, your last your first last search node set up on one server, and your second last search node set up on the second server. And so this is where I'm going to stop on this because the next piece is getting into the Wazoo multi-node cluster, and that's going to go more time in. And because we got we have to install it, we have to add the search to it, and then we have to start it. So right here, guys, I'm gonna leave it leave it be, and then I'm gonna go to the, go on to the next video. So anyway, guys, if you like this, uh, please like it, share it, comment on it. I'm I'm open ears for uh, any anything y'all have. So let me know. Okay, thanks.